You know, I never been a big fan of when fans are like, oh, that player, he just showing out in his contract year because he's getting ready to get paid. And they say that like it's a bad thing. Like we don't do that in our normal everyday jobs. Like if we know we do for a raise, we got a raise coming up in three months. Oh, we're gonna be walking to the workplace a little bit different. We may be waving, smiling at people a little bit differently. Uh, we're gonna be cheesing, and we may put on a little suit or whatnot. We're gonna be doing things and handling ourselves in a different way because we know that bread is on the way. We know we're getting ready to get paid, and we are trying to maximize our earnings. So when NFL players do it. I don't see the issue at all. Money is very, very motivating for people. Uh, it's like an incentive. Like, you know how with, with incentives, incentives are something that really can push somebody to do well at something. Like, you, it's ranging from kids to adults to everybody in between. You tell a kid, like, all right, you finish your homework, we're going to go out for ice cream later. That's an incentive. You tell a teenager, hey, you finish this homework, maybe I'll go buy your PS5 or something like that. That's an incentive. You tell an adult, hey, you finish this task on time, you'll get $500 bonus. Just using those as an example, but those are all incentives. Those are motivating factors that get people to really push themselves that much more. So that's why when it comes to the breakdown of players' contracts, incentives are big and incentives are very motivating. Team Keep It Clean, we about to talk about some very motivating news, a motivating update we got. Shout out to Brian McFarlane for always keeping us updated with Ravens salary cap details on a couple of Ravens who have some very motivating contracts. Yes, they certainly do. We got the breakdown of that. Make sure, before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on so you do not miss not a single update, not a single video, not a single anything when it comes to the Baltimore Ravens or just the NFL in general. And leave a like on the video because it helps out the channel a lot. And YouTube can continue to recommend these videos to you if you like them, of course. Now, Brian McFarlane, he broke down two players, some of their contracts individually. And we're going to start with one, Ronnie Stanley. Because with Ronnie Stanley, oh man, he, um, he took a big pay cut. They redid, reworked his contract. And he's somebody that usually every single year, the Baltimore Ravens will go to him first. When they needed some, a little more bread, they will go to him to rework his contract. So they will push it down to later years, push it down the road a bit, but they would always go to him. But this year, he took a significant pay cut uh, to stay a Baltimore Raven. But next year, he got a little incentive because, hey, you're a free agent. But let's look at the breakdown of what Brian McFarlane said. He said, Ronnie Stanley's $10 million in 2024 incentives. So he gets $2 million for playing 65% of the snaps and making a Pro Bowl. So that's straight up right there. He gets another $2 mil for playing at least 65% of the snaps and making first team all pro. So let's, go, let's, just, let's just continue. He gets another one mil for playing 75% of the snaps and making a Pro Bowl. He gets another one mil for playing 75% of the snaps and making all pro. He gets another 1.5 mil for playing 85% of the snaps and making a Pro Bowl. He gets another 500K for playing 85% of the snaps and making all pro. Then he gets another two mil for playing 95% of the snaps and making all pro. So... Like we knew already, but we didn't know the official breakdown. If Ronnie Stanley plays, Ronnie Stanley gets paid. If Ronnie Stanley remains healthy, he has all the incentive and all the motivation in the world to be the Ronnie Stanley that we know he can be, that we saw flashes of last year. But, of course, toward the end of the year, he was in the rotation with him and Pat McCarry and, you know, Morgan Moses and Daniel Falele. They were in a bit of a rotation and whatnot. But he did show us plenty of flashes throughout last year that, hey, Ronnie Stanley still got it. He could still play. But it's a matter of him putting it all together and remaining healthy. But, again, with the breakdown, shout out to Brian McFarlane, by the way. Y'all make sure y'all follow him on Twitter. It's Raven Salary Cap. But with this breakdown of everything, if he plays, he gets paid. If he stays on the field, plays 95% of the snaps, but that stipulation. He could play. He could play 100% of the snaps and not make any of these incentives. Because literally with every single incentive, there's the either the Pro Bowl or All Pro. So that's where it gets a little bit tricky. So he not only has to play, but he has to play exceptionally well to get his bread. Oh, if that ain't motivating, I don't know what is. But then you think about this, like we mentioned earlier, after this year, Ronnie Stanley's a free agent. 
So he can not only get this bread, he can think about the, his future. Like, all right, I ain't no old man or nothing yet. I can still play in this league. I see left tackles, right tackles. I see them get big contracts, even, even on that second or third contract still. So he could be thinking about that and thinking about his future, and that could give him even more, to, even more motivation to show these people, not just the Baltimore Ravens, but the NFL world, like, hey, I still got it. I've had some unfortunate injuries recently, but – I still got this and watch this. So shout out to Ronnie Stanley and we'll see exactly how that ends up working itself out. Raven set themselves up nice, but Ronnie could, Stanley, he could set himself up even nicer if he just shows up and plays well. Uh, Brian McFarlane also mentioned, he says, so after taking a $7.5 million pay cut, that's a big pay cut. He says Stanley can only earn incentives if he, if he makes the Pro Bowl or the All-Pro. So, yeah, that's what we just explained. And now he also broke down Derrick Henry's annual incentives for 2024 and 2025. And this is 2.5 mil extra that he can earn in incentives on top of his base salary. So if he gets 1,200 rushing yards, Derrick Henry does, then he gets an extra $500,000 just for rushing for 1,200 yards. Now... You, you could think like, oh, man, Derrick Henry, he'll get that easily. He gets that all the time with the Tennessee Titans. That team is not nearly as loaded as the Baltimore Ravens. The offensive line hasn't been as good as the Baltimore Ravens. They just are not good as the Baltimore Ravens. And while that may be true, Baltimore Ravens do things differently when it comes to their running backs. They don't have a one-man band at running back. They don't have their sort of bell cow at running back. I mean, maybe now Derrick Henry will be that. But y'all know Baltimore Ravens are the ultimate running back by committee team. So while he has been like 1,200 yards, he'll sneeze and get that in the regular season. Uh, with the Baltimore Ravens, it may be a little bit different. But with the Baltimore Ravens, now that they have a Derrick Henry, they may treat him and play him a bit different. But anyway, continuing, he gets another 500K if he gets 1,500 yards. So if he gets 1,500 yards, that's right there, that's a meal. That's an extra million dollars right there. Then continuing, if he gets 13 touchdowns, he gets 500K. Now, for that one, I don't see that as an issue at all. I, I think he'll get that. Whether he gets over 1,200 yards or not, I think the 13 touchdowns will be, he'll be able to blink and get that. Reason being because, again, Ravens, they know how to move the ball downfield. And Ravens, obviously, they know how to score too. Well, not in the AFC Championship game, but... Besides that, they know how to score the ball. They know how to move the ball downfield. Gus Edwards, I think, what, last year he had 13 touchdowns? Just Gus Edwards alone. So imagine what Derrick Henry, somebody who they're really invested in financially, imagine what he can do with the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, then he gets another 500K if he gets 500. I, mean, I said 500 touchdowns. If he gets 15 touchdowns. So if he gets 15 touchdowns, isn't that's a meal right there. That's a meal. And, and you know that's got to be extra motivated for these players. Like, remember Jadavian Clowney. He had the incentive to get, I think it was nine sacks last year, and he was like a sack away. Then they played him in that Steelers game. He got that last sack. He was extra motivated to get it. He got it, and he started jumping up and down because he's like, oh, yeah, I got my incentive. I got my bonus. I got my money. He was motivated. So you see that motivation with the players because we look at Derrick Henry. If he gets 13 touchdowns, he could be thinking, hold up. I just need two more for another 500000 Oh, yeah. Hey, y'all, feed me. He's going to have a personal conversation with Harbaugh and say, don't forget about me in the regular season. The first, don't forget about me in the playoffs, but certainly don't forget about me in the regular season. But continuing. Uh, so that's so he gets 500,000 for 1,200, 500 more thousand for 1,500 yards, 500,000 for 13 touchdowns, 500,000 for 15 touchdowns. But here goes the kicker. This is my favorite one. This is the extra 500,000 that will get it to 2.5 max. The incentives that he could earn this year and the next year, too. And this is the one that I hope he gets the most. If he reaches a thousand yards and the Ravens get a Super Bowl win, then Derrick Henry will get 500,000. That's the one that I want to see him get the most because that would be the ultimate victory for literally everybody on the Baltimore Ravens. And Derrick Henry get a nice little chunk of change, too. So. This just this is super 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 motivating uh, for each and each of these players, and there of course are more players that are on the roster that have incentives in their contract because a lot of contracts are incentivized and they are incentive based. Now these two definitely ain't incentive based, but they got a lot of incentives on there, so that's bonus money that they can get on top of their base salary. So when you like y'all know working, 
when it comes to working, you may have your base salary. But when the bosses come up to you and they start talking about a bonus, you say, oh, oh, bonus. Oh, OK. Yeah, I'm with that all day. And I'm sure these guys will be with that as well. Team, keep it clean. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on and leave a like on the video. Because I, I, I know we all feeling motivated right now, as we should. As Derrick Henry, we know he is going to be. Uh, and as Ronnie Stanley certainly going to be as well. And what makes it even better, those two can help each other out a lot.